What's going on everyone? GG Kicks here and today I'm bringing you guys another heater. You guys already know by the thumbnail what shoe this is. Today I'm going to be bringing you the review of the Air Jordan 11 25th anniversary, also known as the Jubilee. Uh, I'm not sure what language that is, but Jubilee actually stands for 25th anniversary. So that's basically what this Air Jordan 11 is right here. And we're going to get fully into the details straight to the point what I think about this sneaker, everything like that. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys smash that like button, hit that subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you enjoyed the content. The Jubilee Air Jordan 11 kind of looks similar like the 7210 Air Jordan 11 that released a couple years ago. But that shoe actually, instead of the mesh, it had the leather. Uh, a lot of people didn't like that touch. They brought it back with the mesh. And so this Air Jordan 11 is actually the first to ever feature the Jordan coming down on the shoelace holders. Very dope touch It's not screen printed on. It's like kind of like a it, it, it's basically glued on. So you might want to watch out. It might fall off. Um, but this shoe actually has a lot different. We got the milky outsole as well instead of the clear. When the pictures leaked earlier this year, the bottom was clear, but now it's milky. So I guess they decided to add the milky color. You also have your gray pods in the front and the back of the shoe on the outsole. But now let's actually take a closer look and I'm going to show you guys fully in detail what this shoe is all about. So let's do it. All right, guys. So here's a look at the size tag Air Jordan 11 black slash multicolor dash multicolor New York. So this is basically the all black Jubilee Air Jordan 11 25th anniversary edition retailing for 220 on the adult sizes 180 on the GS. The box has changed the Air Jordan 11 box. You guys are all familiar. It was as a drawer style box. You try to pull this out. You're going to end up breaking your box because they added this new feature that basically makes the, the box half and half. So that's a pretty nice touch. So inside of the box here, you got your nice paper. It has a Jordan Jumpman on it, as well as 2020 and 1995. 25th anniversary edition, guys. So that's why they decided to add those touches. And boom, there it is in all its glory. The Air Jordan 11 Jubilee 25th anniversary edition. I was able to get these on the shock drop on Nike sneakers. There they are in all its glory. The Air Jordan 11 25th anniversary edition. All right, so first off, we're going to start off with the outsole. The outsole is very nice. Air Jordan 11 outsole, of course. You got your nice carbon fiber, nothing too crazy, but you do have a gray pod. I wonder why they decided to go with gray. So you got your gray pods on the front of the shoe and on the back. Then you have your nice white midsole going around the whole shoe. I have noticed some weird defects on this shoe. I was able to get these early on the shock drop on sneakers. I was there. I was ready. I wasn't sleeping. But some of my shoes that came in have like little dots on the midsoles. You can see some glue stains on them as well quality control wasn't that great or I don't know what they're doing with these early drops if the quality is less than actually on the general release I'm not sure but the Air Jordan 4 fire red also came in with some tongue bleeding and outsole bleeding on some pairs so Jordan brand is really not caring anymore with quality control don't know why so then on your midfoot right here you have your classic patent leather as seen on every Air Jordan 11 and it's all black and that glossy is just dope, 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 man. This is what makes it a classic right there. That patent leather was just so hard to make on a sneaker, especially a basketball shoe. So when Jordan brought these out, man, he literally just changed the whole world with these. Like I'm not even gassing it. So then on the top, you got your nice mesh, as you guys always seen on the Air Jordan 11. But like I said earlier, on the 7210s, they replaced the mesh with some leather. So it kind of made it a little bit more premium. But I have a feeling that people are going to like these more than the 7210, even though those kind of had more meaning. Well, I mean, which one had more meaning, 7210s or the 25th anniversary? You guys let me know in the comment section below what means more to you. So on your tongue here, you got your regular Air Jordan 11 tongue. This is on here very tight. These are still dead stock, of course, but this is what I wanted to show you guys right there. Instead of the mesh, you got your nice leather with the Jordan embossed on it. Haven't seen that on an Air Jordan 11 either. And then you got your Jordan coming down 
the eyelids also never seen before on a general release there have been some samples with it i actually have a gs size coming in i wish i was able to show you guys the gs size so y'all could see you the differences and all that but unfortunately it did not come in the mail with the rest of my sneakers today but i need to get these video out to you guys so i just had to put this out without the gs version i will post pictures of the gs version on my instagram so if you don't already follow me at gg kicks on instagram and taking a look at the heel you got your nice glued on 23 on the back and then you have your nice jump man going in opposite directions this is like a hard plastic right here and it's definitely glued on so you guys got to make sure when you guys wear these you be safe um don't wear these a lot a lot so you also have your jump man here glued on it's not actually stitched on like in some other air jordan 11s so that gives it more of that premium look more of that flashy look but do beware that since it's not stitched on it can fall off i don't know if it will or not but due to age and wear it might fall off so you guys just got to keep that in mind because it is glued on as well as these eyelids right here it's not stitched on it's just glued on so you guys got to watch out for that and this shoe is beautiful man like it's just an air jordan 11 classic colorway you can't really mess it up especially if it's all black there's just no going wrong but you guys let me know what you guys think of this shoe in the comments section below almost forgot the insole also has your jump man and your 23 like it is back there all right guys so my final thoughts on this air jordan 11 is it's very dope all black mostly and white so it gives it that little pop uh, the white midsole makes it pop a lot more the milky soles down here make it last longer so your shoe won't actually get that yellow that fast i'm going to be giving this shoe a 9 out of 10 rating why you may ask because i really do see this shoe having a lot of potential in the future it is a 25th anniversary edition so you guys have to remember that and keep that in mind when you guys are snoozing on these because i know a lot of people are snoozing on these they don't like the colorway but i have a feeling like this will grow a lot on people because we're just not used to seeing the jordan written down we're not used to seeing the leather on the ends like we're not used to seeing that stuff so when something is new people really don't like it in the beginning and then towards the end they start messing with it a little bit more and a little bit more so these have a potential to really go up because it's just a very clean air jordan 11 it's all black white on the midsole to make it pop more and then you have your milky outsole i'm glad that they went with black instead of like an all white for the anniversaries usually they do an all white but those just get really dirty that fast so a lot of people tend to mess those up so if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys made it this far i want to thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already please like and subscribe also turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video you know the vibe see you guys on the next one